Weber. Welcome to Blabber. I am going to be your excellent host, Chris Hamilton. With me today, as always, is Internet Girl Rebecca Chan, working That's on that. the internet over there. That's it. And our uh, guests today are Kieran Valla. What's Welcome up, to the everyone? Show, as Hello. well as Chris Holly. Ah, welcome to the show, guys. All right, we're going to start it off uh, with uh, a couple interesting topics that I want to bring up today. I like topics. Good. Yeah. Topics are my favorite. What do you think is the best? Old, old, old school video game ever. It's a game that, that was so wow. good when you played it when you were young yeah. that it holds up today. Old school video even. game ever. Ever. Well, I have my answer for that. As we know, one of my favorite systems of all times is the Sega Genesis. Yeah. And my favorite game for that yeah. is Golden Axe. Golden Axe? I love wow. that game. Wow, I wow. love the characters. They're, they're all great. Um, it's just there's so many, like different levels, so many different people that you fight, you, it's a two-player game. Me and my friends used to play that game for hours on end with yeah. each other. Just Good call on that. Good call. Loads I never of thought of that. Chris, what do you got? So, um, obviously, in my opinion, the greatest game of all time is Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay. Um, but uh, I, I don't want to take focus away from Mega Man 2. Right. Excellent because call. Because I, Excellent I call. love Mega Man 2. Absolutely a classic. Absolutely uh, obviously. Classic. Right up there with Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, really? Yeah. Really? All right. Um, well, let's move on to some more recent games then. Um, there are a lot of games out now that deal with uh, like zombies and, um, mm. and, and like the undead games like Resident Evil, uh, which, which goes way back. But then there's new ga that new game... Uh, uh, what is it, like Stubs or something, where you get to yeah. actually play as the zombie, wow, dude. and you get yeah. to recruit other zombies, and, uh, <laughs> and go and eat brains, and it's really brutal and I disgusting love brain and gruesome. Eating. Yeah, so what do you think are some of the best like video games where you get to play as zombies or fight zombies? So, so the, new, the new Resident Evil... Um, yeah, Resident Evil 4, that one. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 uh. is insane. You have no idea. It's crazy. Like, it, it's so intense and fun and, and scary. And I love how video games can actually be scary. Yeah. Well, how about this, then? What if, what if these video games were real? What if this was real life? Do you, how do you think that you would respond to a, an epidemic of the kind of proportions in the real world? Personally, like, I, would, I would just run away. I, I would I'd literally just, just run away from the zombie. I'm not a zombie hunter. I'm not out there to try and stop them. Because, as we all know, where there's one zombie, there's more zombies. And, I mean... I've learned my lessons from well, playing those games. That's, that's you true. don't you mess don't with zombies. That's be true. There. He's right. I mean, you just let other people do like dirty uh, work for you. Absolutely. I'm, well, a, I'm, you a, little away, I'm a little baby. I'll just run away. Personally, absolutely. I would I would love it if there was a zombie attack. Like I, I would have so much fun. Like I, I have <laughs> what would be the, what would be your weapon of choice in a zombie attack? So I, I have personally thought about what I would do if a Good. zombie attack happened Good. like right. at any any given moment. Right. I have a samurai sword in my room. I that's thought, true. I've seen it. Yeah. I, I would immediately grab that just in case, yep. and then I would drive down Hempstead Turnpike, go to the gun store, pick up some guns and ammo, and then uh, and then you know just drive away, what? go on a rampage. Just I, whatever comes, just take it out. You have a samurai sword in your room. Yeah, dude. Okay, let me. I'm just gonna call the police real quick. All right. Quick. You know what? Oh. Wow. Wow. All right. If it's gonna be oh, that yeah, kind right. of tension. If they're gonna be oh. that kind of tension, I think you guys should dweeb duel right now. Dweeb duel. Dweeb. Definitely a dweeb duel. Dweeb it's, dweeb on. Dweeb it's on. Dweeb it's on. on. Dweeb duel is on. We do. All right, this is going to be intense. I know these two gentlemen personally, and uh, I know this is going to be an intense battle. What will Very be your weapon husband. of choice, Holly? Rock. Paper. Scissors. Shoot. Kieran Bala takes the first one mm. with the scissors over the paper. <laughs> wow. You know, I didn't expect that from Kieran. You'll never beat me, Holly. Cool. You'll never beat me. No, Anybody I, I knows thought, Kieran. I thought she was coming back. Yeah. Scissors yeah. are usually not his first choice, but he really oh. brought that out. Yeah. That was a good move. God, you just can't distract him. It's impossible. Yeah, they're really focused. Mm. Yeah. Rock. Paper. Scissors. Shoot. Uh, it's a draw. It is a draw. That is a tie. We're going to have to go to a deciding round. One more. All right. We're going to do one more. 
One more and that's it. One more. Rock. I mean, I'm Paper. not Chris, but I definitely do intensely with that. Scissors. Shoot. Oh, no! Let go! Let go! Kieran! Kieran, are you all right? Calm down. Come back. Come back to us, Kieran. I'm sorry. Are you all right? I just... It was a dweeb duel. Rebecca, is he all right? back yeah, to 1989. It's a game. It's a game. It's a game, Kieran! Get a hold of yourself, man! Chris, come on. It's okay. Chris, are you okay? I don't even... It's all right. It's, it's going to be okay, Chris. The bad man will be taken care of. Kieran. Get a hold of yourself. Way well, out I'm of control cool. there. I'm, just, okay? I'm really excited that I won. I just want to thank you all of you. You are yeah, a loose cannon. No You're a loose cannon, Karen. Exactly. Possibly. A loose cannon. Possibly, but I'm a winner. That's true. I can't fault you for that. You're yeah. right about that. That's right. I'm he is. <sighs> well, you know, dweeb duels like that are, uh, are rare, and everybody knows that. And these two gentlemen are gentlemen and scholars, really, okay? And uh, they have nothing but the utmost respect for one another. And that's what really matters. That's what really counts, all right? Absolutely. And there will be more dweeb duels to come. Good match. Shake hands. Real men, ladies and gentlemen. Real men. That's exactly how real men and gentlemen conduct themselves in the heat of battle. You can, you're good enough. That's right. That's right. But well fought Thank on you. both ends. Speaking of battles, I kind of want to talk about some uh, fighting games right now. Yeah, what kind of fighting games are you guys into? Old school? Let's talk new school or old school games? Yo, how about, uh, how about Mike Tyson's Punch Out? Mike Tyson's Boom. Punch Out. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Bam. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great, absolutely wonderful game. What did you think was the, uh, the most fun character to fight in that game? <laughs> Don Flamenco. Don Flamenco, absolutely. <laughs> that Don guy's Flamenco. hilarious. Yeah. He's got a rose in his mouth, he does his little dance, and then the rose disappears. You have no idea where it Nowhere, goes. Nowhere, no yeah, idea where it goes. That's, that's true. true. No idea where it goes. And then whenever, and whenever you knock him out, he always like stays up for a little bit. He goes... And does his little, his little, his little his dance, his little happy dance. His, yeah, right. his pixie dance to the ground. Yeah, yeah. he was very, he was very let's say, flamboyant, shall we say? Well, I, I wouldn't <laughs> want to say that. Yeah. I think he was... I think he was very spiritual and just knew how to move his body. He That's a, true. He was you know very I mean? graceful. He was yeah. indeed that. <laughs> but I think he was more concerned with the way he looked and, uh, and you know, and danced than uh, with H actually winning hubris. a fight. Hubris. Exactly. That's, that's, I mean, that's his definitely word. I think even a better game than Mike Tyson's Punch Out is uh, Street Fighter. Street, which one? The original. I love the, the original Street Fighter. Dude, really? I am really into the original. Pretty good. It is pretty good. But obviously, yeah. it's not the one that the series is known for. Okay, okay. Yeah. that's true. Obviously, Street Fighter yeah. 2 was the breakout game of the series. I guess that I is true, but I don't know. I mean, For me, it's like the originals, like a lot of times, I really just hold, hold to those, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. It's when you're the youngest, it's when you really get involved. Yeah, with absolutely. And it goes the same with, like, with you know, games like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, The yeah. original Super Mario Brothers. Chris! The original Super Mario. Don't, don't think I can't hear you and your oh friends in there grabbing. Sorry, guys. Mom. I don't care who's over. The it's, dog poop isn't going my mom. to pick it's itself mom. up. Sorry. It's my mom. Get out here now. Okay. All right, mom. Mom. I'm doing my show, all right? Just give me a couple minutes. Just Dude, leave I me alone. I'm sorry, guys. I hate your mom. I really apologize. She's such a bitch. Dude. She really is. I can't stand her. Yeah, it's not she, I'm sorry, but she, she knows. She made us some nice crispy tree squares, so. though. I know. Those were pretty good. They were really good. No, uh, they listen, were really good. Right, my mom's weird. bothering me, so we'll be, we'll be right back after this message with more blabber, okay? Blabber! The rice crispy treats, they were sweet. Blabber. Now, it's here, the excitement, the adventure of a new force at breakfast. We'll call them C-3PO's. New C-3PO cereal from Kellogg's. Twin wings, face together. For two crunches and every double O. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Now you can experience the taste of Kellogg's C-3PO's. A crunchy new force at breakfast. May the force be with you. Everyone knows that drinking and driving don't mix, but the time to decide who'll drink and who'll drive is before anyone has a drink. Choose a designated driver while you still have a choice. You've been back to the future of the movies. Now go there on your NES. 
in Back to the Future 2 and 3, a double mission to save the future. LJN, Back to the Future 2 and 3. Get it while there's still time. Welcome back to Blabber. Blabber. Segment number two. Whee! That was a good dweeb out battle last time. That was really yeah. impressive, actually. It, it, was, it was pretty uh, intense. Yeah. Yeah. I'll agree. Yeah. I'll agree. This up. time, though, we're going to start with uh, one of my favorites, the... Uh, prop pop. Prop pop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what's going to happen is we're going to have all of our, uh, our guests yeah. reach into the prop hunt and take oh, the prop. Oh, wait. I was going to... And uh, they're going to uh, reenact the characters that I assigned them based on the prop and act them out for the uh, remainder of the segment. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's very cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's oh, see yes. what we got. What is this? Okay, Kieran Valley, you are going to be uh, Alien Slick Rick. Alien your, uh, Slick Rick, okay, there. cool. All right. Um, you are going to be uh, Chris Holly. Uh, let's see. I want you to be uh, Matt Damon in Saving Private Ryan. Matt Damon in Saving <laughs> Private Ryan. All the pressure is on you. They're coming to save your life. You could say Private Ryan. No, no, no. I don't want to say that. You're Matt Damon in Saving Private Ryan, okay? And uh, you are going Captain to be Hook. Captain Hook <laughs> from <laughs> Hook. Oh, All right, okay. you have to yeah. play it as Dustin Hoffman. Okay, yeah, Captain can do Hoffman. that. That's, right. He was unbelievable hey, in that hey, movie. Hey, 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 listen, you, you be quiet, Slick Rick, okay? Mouse! All right, let's see, let's, uh, let's see. What do you think of your, uh, of your outfit there, Slick? I like my outfit. It's the slickest and the baddest. It's pretty bad. Of all them outfits, my friend. Woo! All right, Private Ryan, Matt Damon, as Avery Private Ryan. Sir. I... I, I, I like it, but uh, I, I don't really want to talk about it because, you know, I just found out about my brothers, so... Oh, right, your brothers. They, uh, they died in that war or whatever, right? Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Oh, again. yeah, dude. It's so right. sad, man. Why don't we sing a song about it? No, Let's, I uh, we'll don't want you to sing a song, okay? Well, he's just, you know, he's just trying to cheer you up. But I'm just trying to cheer you up, man. He's trying to cheer you up. And uh, Captain Hook over there. Our All right. Well done. All right. So let's uh, let's talk about war games, shall we? What do you what do you think are the most effective uh, video games uh, based on wars? Well, in in my opinion, I found that uh, Medal of Honor has really stayed true to the the most realistic fighting scenarios. Absolutely. I mean, talk about, talk about one of the games that uses music a lot to, uh, to really put you in the game. I mean, it used music from, I think, Band of Brothers or, or something like that to really be, uh, to make you feel like you were inside the battle. So some, of the, some of the scenes were really too reminiscent of, uh, of my own experience. I can, I can imagine. It must have been very traumatic for you. I'm sorry for you, man. Let me... Slick Rick, don't touch me. What Slick do you mean, don't Rick. touch you? He's, he's been through a lot. Just, uh, maybe you should just... You know, man, uh, Slick Rick has uh, been through a lot, too. Yeah, I'm well, sure you have. album sales dropped yeah. well, you think you're cool with that two years in a row. I'm sure it's very comparable to being in uh, oh, yeah. uh, a yeah, world war. Cool. It basically yeah, it is, my friend. You know the history. You right. haven't been in it. No, you're right. I'm sorry. You're Let me tell you right. something about Slick Rick. Yeah. Slick Rick, can, man. Can we, can we move on with the questions? I'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, flack here from, uh, from, uh, from Captain Ca Hook. Captain Hook. In it, our, our internet pirate over here. Could you please not knock on his helmet? I'm sure he would appreciate that. He's been through a world war. His brothers are dead. Dead. All right. I would like to talk about any games with aliens. All right. Well, there are lots of games with aliens out there. What do you think? What the, was the yeah, best I'm one? sure they all suck too. Well, oh. but you can't really say that. I mean, you're talking about all the games with aliens suck. There are games where uh, where people like yourself, army men, like marines, and, and people in the army fight aliens. Like, like Halo, for example. Halo, a good example. Halo. Let me tell you something about Halo. Yeah. It makes our alien brothers. Look bad. Mm -hmm. Trying to bring down the alien race. The alien race, yeah. Trying to, trying to categorize us. Right. I'm telling you now, games like Halo should be banned from the shelves. You think no. it should be banned from the shelves? No. This administration and our government is trying to bring us aliens down, make us look bad, make us look like a plague of the earth. A plague of the earth? Well, you know what? Well, maybe you are. Uh, people are. You maybe you are. Every time people. you come over here, Whoa. me and my boys got to come in and, and show you what's what. Let right. me tell you something, Gentlemen. army boy. Gentlemen, you know what? I think you guys should duel it out one more time in a dweeb duel. Dweeb duel is on. Get ready. Dweeb duel. This round of the dweeb duel will be fought contest. Can you get that on your in the form of a staring contest.
very intense. First person to blink. See the intensity in both of their eyes. Private Ryan, stoic, battle torn, and battle worn. Alien Slick Rick holding his own. Tension is mounting here. Who will blink first? It's hard to tell. A little fake out there, but quite a nice. Matt Damon. Meow. There's some animal noises. Yeah. Meowing. Oh. And there it is! There it is! Alien Slick Rick has blinked! <laughs> I did not the winner blink. is the you, so you definitely Another blinked. Another example of how you humans try to bring down no us one, alien brothers. No one Again. is trying to bring down the alien race. Well, there are no alien racists here, all right? You lost fair and square. All right. He's I, a seasoned I'm sure. military I'm sure. veteran. That's what happens. You learn not to blink, okay? You can learn a lot from him, alien slick Rick. Make him face blink all day. Just your face, a little your face is a little off there, buddy, but it's all right. It's My all right. Well fought fine. there. Stop criticizing Excellent. me. I, I felt really, really good about that. Yeah, you should. Really redeemed yourself after the, uh, the first battle there. Yeah, I, I disgraced myself, but uh, I kind of came back. You definitely yeah, did. Definitely. I think that uh, you. I think you earned it for your country. For your country. Sorry, even. I threw my hat over. That's yeah, good. Yeah, you can take that mask off, dude. Yeah, you yeah, it's, yeah. Okay. it's really unfair. I just want to say. How do you feel about the, about I the just, I felt like I didn't blink at all during that. We duel, and you know, you just tried to bring me down just because a little bit different from everyone else. Yeah, well, you're obviously different, but uh, that's mostly in your IQ. But that's okay. I mean, you're just as uh, you're just as important as the rest of us here. <laughs> that's that's not true at all. No, I know, but I'm trying to make him feel better. You know, it's one thing I absolutely love, though. What's that? Like um, video games and like a lot of PC games that are based on like on like trivia stuff. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, um, like Jeopardy and stuff like that. I, I love games like that. I think they're like overlooked because everyone wants, just wants to play fighting games yeah. and, and yeah, things yeah. of that nature. The TIE Fighter is attacking. The TIE Fighter Now there attacking. are some good games. Yes. There are some good games. Uh, hey! 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 What's going on? Yeah, Hobo Hobo is going to come over. Hobo Hobo! Our friend uh, Sea Hall of Sea Hobo Sound has arrived, so we're going to take a little break and when we come back, we're going to sit down with Hova Hove and, uh, and talk some more with a little bit of blabber. So we'll be right back in a minute. Blabber. Vanilla and chocolate swirls from Jello Pudding Snacks. Done at last. Well, geez, how about some M&M? Okay, so this is uh, this part of the show. We're gonna have uh, Internet Girl Rebecca over yeah. there. Internet show us some Girl Rebecca. Back. We're gonna vote on them. What do you got, Rebecca? Okay. Well, us. as we've been talking about video games, I've been oh, on the internet looking at sites, and the first one I have for you guys. I yep. want you guys to tell me if you like it, if you don't like it. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the first one I found is superherohype.com, and this one's really cool. I like this one personally. It's a thumbs up for me because 
it basically lets you know what's going on with all your superheroes. And you, know, you can pick whatever superhero you want. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's not it. It's this one right here. So Batman, Blade, Constantine, Fantastic Four, Ghost Rider. Whatever you guys want. Ghost Rider, dude. So Ghost Rider, dude. What do you guys think? Uh, I'll pick one. I'll pick Blade. See? It gives you information. Blade's pretty cool. I would like. To, I, I think I'd save this website because I like to keep up uh, up to date with uh, all my favorite superheroes. Spider-Man, obviously, being my favorite because I think he's the best. Mm. And uh, I think it's a really good source of uh, you know finding out when movies, and sequels, and stuff are coming out for all the superheroes, video games, and whatnot. So I like to keep up with all this stuff. So I think I'd save this one. Karen, yeah. casting calls for you. Blade Two pilot. Blade, Blade TV pilot. <laughs> there you go. So there oh you go. yeah, great. Oh uh, no, but but honestly, like I want to save this one too because I don't think there's many websites where you can go and you can just find all this information like condensed in one space and that accessible. Uh, like all this exactly. information on the internet is just spread out all over the place and you can't find out what's true and not true. And this is a reliable website. Let's save it, baby. Okay, save, save it. Save it, for real. Save it up. And then See, you hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, I like this website because, you know, I like superheroes and everything. And I like Blade, Batman. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say we save it. Save it up. Let's save it. Yeah, dude. Save it up. Cool. Save it, dude. I said we save it. <laughs> All right, see, Holly. Uh, I mean, uh, not to jump on the bandwagon here, but I, I, I feel like superheroes have become too important in pop culture today. Okay. Too, too huge not to have a website mm -hmm. like that Absolutely. where you can go and have it all That's condensed right. in, the one, right. in one place. All right, cool. So it looks like everybody's saving this one. Everybody's saving this one. Yeah. For that one. All right, well, yeah. now, uh, now here's what we're going to do. We're, I'm going to take our, uh, our guest here, C. Hova, C. Hall, and uh, I'm going to challenge you to a dweeb duel. Dweeb Duel. Dweeb That's right. Duel. All right. Today's uh, Dweeb Duel challenge, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. It's on like Donkey it's Kong. On. I Bring mean, it. Mortal Kombat. Bring it. Do it. Do it. We do no, you guys. Don't do this. Hey, you hey, got to do, hey, do, hey, do it. Don't do it. Do it, guys. Let it happen. No. You just chill out. Chill. No, that's what my uncle said. Uh, you chill out. No, you guys. Let's choose your fighter. Press start. Oh, there. Oh, Oh, Luke Kang versus Luke Kang! Chris versus oh Chris in a mirror God, match. Oh my mirror match! Yo. Oh! Oh, oh You're fighting in the courtyard. That's awesome. You're, you're oh. dead. No, you're dead. Don't believe me. Oh, you're dead. Me. Believe me. Here we go. Yo, Let's I go. I want to see some flames. I'm rooting for Chris. Let me see some Oh! Uppercut. Oh, oh they need him in the chest. <laughs> oh, oh, not. Oh, return fire. <laughs> I can't even yell. <laughs> All right, I know who threw that. Oh, oh, my oh, oh. It's only round one, yeah, baby. Died. It's only round one. Nobody's Ham dead. Nobody died. Been defeated Ham. In this game. Never been defeated. See, I got it. Hey, I got it. You got it. Oh. <laughs> He doesn't know the finishing move. 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 I finished. You didn't finish nothing. You didn't finish anything, man. That was weak. That was weak. All right, congratulations on the victory. Congratulations on the victory. Congratulations on the victory. But he didn't do the finishing move, so that doesn't mean anything. Next time you come back, I'm taking you to the floor. I'm gonna wipe it with your face. Wow. And I'm gonna wow. fatality bring, boys, you behind, bring. like it's supposed to be done. That was all right. Amazing. Oh but I'll, this time I'll give yeah. it to you. All right. Well fought battle. All right. Two rounds. Rebecca, what did you think of that battle? Um, I liked it. I liked it because you lost, basically. <laughs> oh, that's very kind. You know, I know very you're kind. Like, you brag when you win. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be great next time when we come back. It's gonna new internet girl. All right. I'm looking forward <laughs> yeah, to that. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be beautiful. All right. Mm. No, we beautiful. can't get rid of Rebecca. All right, what are the, you have any other websites there for us before we back, back, get yeah, out Yeah, we got one more. This one's yeah. called E-Bombs World. I know this one. Maybe. Yes, I know E-Bombs Okay, this one World. is pretty cool <laughs> All right. because it's got a lot of random stuff on it. So here's, like, uh, here's an example. So there's movie mistakes right here. And they're different pictures of, like, see that guy shooting a gun, but he's not even, you know, touching the trigger. <laughs> so that's just pretty. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Just, you know, random... Johnny Depp's got an Adidas, ha you know, sign Are you kidding hat. me? Yeah, that's no, amazing. really, really, really. So that's not like it. It's funny, you know? <laughs> it's got other stuff, too, you know, jokes, prank calls, some videos, you know, Oh, wait, pictures. is that Monk wearing a watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see? I mean, would he have that in that time period? No. Oh, so wow. what do you guys think? I'm sorry. I like... I like this website. And, you know, Avon's like world it. for me has gotten too big for its bridges, I would say. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I remember, you know, in its fledgling days when it was just coming up, 
you know, it had really cool videos on there, just really random, obscure videos that you couldn't find anywhere, you know. Any videos of, like, celebrities doing bizarre crap that you couldn't find anywhere else, you could find them on e-bombs, right? But now I think it's just overloaded with all kinds of useless garbage that nobody cares about anymore. And it's just kind of grown too big for itself. So I would destroy this one. Get it out of here. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, all I really have to say, Chris basically said everything I need to say. E-bombs world, too much junk on it. I don't feel like looking through all of it anymore. Sure. I've gotten sick of it. It's the cool thing to look at now. Yeah. Boring crap. Agreed. Destroy it destroy in it. a major way. Peace. Destroy sound. Peace. With the booze. Peace. Some booze. Boom. For my booze. There you go. Boom. Done. Hey, man. I like this website. When you're working on a paper or something, you want to look at something funny, you go to E-bombs world. That's where you go. Yeah. I got a lot of all my Yo, if you want to look at something funny, why don't you just look at yourself in the mirror while you're doing oh. the thing? Oh. That's me. That's a joke. Oh. oh. So I, well, I like this website. Yeah, so we're gonna it. save it. See? Hi. Hi. Okay, okay, Hova, I'm gonna back Bring you up here. Thanks. Because uh, because I feel like even though you you guys made some valid points about e bombs being like you know uh, kind of fake and weird and and too much for itself now, people still go to the website. Everybody goes there, and you're never gonna stop going to e bombs. Ah, eh, whatever. I so I'll cool. I'll save it. Okay. Oh. Thumbs up. Whatever, whatever. What else we got here? Okay, the next one I found is uh, starfleet.com. Star SFI, Fleet. so that's for those people that are Trekkies. Trekkies. And as you all know, I used to be a Trekkie. Yeah, uh -huh. Next generation all the way. Okay. So anyways, um, so this site I like because it gives me more information on things. So I definitely want to keep it. All right, uh, I'm going to speak for everyone on this panel when I say boo this website because yeah, it's, uh, it. it's boring and it needs to be destroyed. There's no reason for Stupid. anyone to Everyone here. Seriously, I saw yeah. Trekkies uh, one, Trekkies two. I know the type of people that go on exactly. these websites. Yeah, that's no, right. no, 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 thank no. you. No, thank you. Can't you. go in space. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye. Space so, uh, travel is yeah. not possible. Space travel is not possible. It's just not gonna happen ever. No. No, it's and it's just okay. obvious. Okay. It's obvious. Moon landing was faked in a studio. All right. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably true. That's probably true. I saw true. a show about it. Well, listen, I want to thank all you guys for coming out to the show today. Kieran Vala. Thank see Hova Hova Chris Hall, and Chris Holly, and Internet Girl Rebecca Chan. And uh, we'll see you next time on Blabber! 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 Let's roll back the video game, huh? Let's back the video game back up. Blabber. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I, I don't know. Aha, Astro Television.